write in the book is I went back to a landmark Supreme Court ruling, Plyler v. Doe. James Plyler was the superintendent of the Tyler, Texas Consolidated School District. And in the 1970s, as some of you know, the state of Texas passed a law which allowed school districts to deny educational benefits to young people, to children. It was found to be unconstitutional on the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment, and Justice William Brennan wrote for the majority. But this is Brennan's argument. The federal government has the responsibility of enforcing our immigration laws. It clearly has not done its job because we had, back in the 80s as we do today, millions of unauthorized people living in our midst. But he makes an important distinction between adults and children. He argues that children are blameless. They were brought here, they did not come here, they did not have agency in the decision to come to the U.S. They're innocent. He then goes on and talks about the role of education in our democracy. We cannot have a democracy without educated citizens. These children cannot fully participate in this society if they don't have an education, at least a K-12 education. Without education, we would be creating a permanent underclass. And in his final paragraph, he says, it is in our common good. Do you ever hear that in our political discourse anymore? It's in our common good. It is in our common good that we provide K through 12 education for all children, regardless of immigration status. And what I argue in the book is that what the DREAM Act is, is a straightforward extension of the rationale of Plyler v. Doe to higher education.